Well, hello, month of August. You know, Bill, I feel like we kind of robbed Mother Nature in July. We got off easy. Right? So I'm hoping she doesn't suck it to us. I was just in thinking, August. she's a little upset <laughs> yes. with us, Easy's, and now here she comes. Oh, no. And yeah, it's a hot one. Now, the good news is this our heat index down to 103 at this hour. Okay. So last hour, for like two hours this afternoon, it was 107, 107 in San Antonio. Let's show you outside what a difference the haze makes. It's gone, so it's a gorgeous evening, mostly clear skies, but I'll tell you, you want to view it from inside for maybe another hour or two, and it'll start to cool off. We're at 96, feeling like 103. Southeast winds about 11 miles per hour. Those will start picking up. So here's what was interesting today. The hottest heat indices were right down I-35. Look at New Braunfels, 109. We're down from 107 to 103. It's 105 Pearsall, 106 Carrizo Springs, and Eagle Pass. It really was the I-35 corridor that had the most brutal heat indices today. Tomorrow, Saturday, and that's going to mean more time outdoors. Please be hydrating. When you stop sweating, you moved from heat exhaustion to heat stroke. When you start getting a headache and it starts to really hurt, your body temp goes up. That's when it's time to call 911 and take action because you can, again, really get caught off guard if you're not hydrated and prepared for this kind of heat. Take the break. So again, today and tomorrow, weather impact alert days as we expect heat indices between 103 and 107. So it's really between noon and 8, but primarily about 4 to 6 p.m. when we hit the heat of the day. Just limit your time out there. Make sure you're hydrating. Now the forecast heat index for tomorrow is 105. 106 New Braunfels and San Marcos as well as 108 in Catula. Then on Sunday, it's down a few degrees to 103 like it is outside right now. We could see a shower or two, but it's going to be a very hot weekend. So please remember, Project Cool. It's when you drop off a brand new box fan to any San Antonio fire station, or if you need a fan, call the United Way at 211. Now, here's why we could see a shower Saturday or Sunday, mainly Sunday. The high's going to slip back to the west just a bit, and a disturbance or two could sneak down the eastern side, outside the, I would say, periphery of this high, and find South Texas. Now, there's going to be a better chance to the north. In fact, the storms are expected to develop north of Austin and on their way down I-35 collapse right about here. San Marcos, New Braunfels. So we're not expecting much on Saturday. Now watch what happens Sunday. Another disturbance out to the west from Hondo out to Del Rio is going to be the best chance of seeing some isolated showers. To the tropics, potential tropical cyclone four. Reminds me of my report card when I was a kid. He has the potential if Billy would just apply himself. Well, if, if this system applies itself and gets organized, it would be Debbie. It's pretty disorganized now. But computer models are still taking it into the eastern Gulf with a pretty good hard right turn and impacting the west coast of the Florida Peninsula. Should be Debbie over the weekend. All right, here's the 14-day forecast. We begin with the weather impact alert for Saturday, 101. The rain chance gets a little better on Sunday, 30%. So obviously a 70% chance you don't see anything. And the best chances I showed you is going to be to the west. We've got a slight chance on Monday at 10%. Other than that, hot and dry for this 14-day forecast.